December? Does that mean... Does that mean what I think it means? I think that means it's time for Vlogmas! Or as we say, or sing in these parts, it's the most wonderful time of the year. There'll be book lists we're showing and copies we're holding and games that we'll play. It's the most wonderful part of my day. The jingle is still in progress. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas day one. And today for Vlogmas, this year for Vlogmas, again, we're doing book lists, but a little different from the way we did it last year. So today's day one. So for Vlogmas, I decided to go to the library and I'd show you the first book, one, number one first. I'll show you the first book on the shelf and we'll talk about whether we've read them or not. So here is my local library queen's public library thank you guys thank you thank you guys for all the books that i read for free so here are the books that are on the library shelf book number one first book is 28 summers by elin hildebrand is that how we pronounce her name i hope so 28 summers i have not read i have not read anything by this author but i'd like to this one of my things in 2023 is to try some new authors that i have heard a lot about but never read anything from them so elin hildebrand is on my list but for now i haven't read 28 summers have you if you have then you get a point yay next is a book by dean coons another author that i've never read anything from the night window yeah, I don't get a point, but another author that I've never heard of, Tommy Obapo, Delhi Wed's Destiny. I have not read this book or know anything about it. Daniel Silva, Portrait of an Unknown Woman. I don't, I, I don't know this book either. I have not read anything by Daniel Silva, so see, so far, 0 for 4. But on the next shelf, we start off really promising. I have read Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. Malcolm Gladwell is one of my favorite authors, my favorite nonfiction authors. Books up there are Malcolm Mommy. Gladwell books. Yes, darling. Malcolm Gladwell, Outliers, is next. One of my favorite nonfiction authors. Books up there by Malcolm Gladwell. I have read this, is what I'm saying. This was my introduction to Malcolm Gladwell. This is the book where he writes about the 10,000 hours theory, where he says that it takes about 10,000 hours of practicing something intentionally and practicing it to make perfection or to make permanence in your actions it takes about that period of time for you to become a master or an expert at something so yeah love that book the book in position number one on the next shelf is empire of pain by patrick radden keith and i have read this i read this earlier this year for the booktube prize i was judging the booktube prize nonfiction that round and that was one of my books that i had to read and i liked it next is a startup wife by tamina anam i have not read a private cathedral by james lee burke i have not read the Candy House by Jennifer Egan, another author that I have not yet read anything from. She won the she won the Pulitzer Prize for her book a Visit from the Goon Squad. And I own a copy, have had a copy now for many years. It's it's somewhere down there, but it doesn't matter. I have a copy, haven't read it. I know she's written a book called Manhattan Beach, is that what it's called? Haven't read it. And now she has a new release, The Candy House, which I mean, I don't know how new it is, but no. Point is, I haven't read it. Another author that I should probably try in 2023. <laughs> Next is The It Girl by Ruth Ware. I have read some things from Ruth Ware, but I haven't read this. I think this is her newest release. This is why it's on the new fiction shelf, Karen. Hello. So, no, I have not read The It Girl, but I have read other things by Ruth Ware. So that's another book that I'll probably get to sometime soon. And The Final Revival of Opal and Nev by Donnie Walton, I have read. This was also assigned to me in a, in a round of the BookTube Prize earlier this year when I was judging fiction. I alternated between fiction and nonfiction this year. 
and I love that I love the mixing it up I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that again next next year though <laughs> next is book of night by Holly black I have not read but I have read the book of night women by Marlon James is that count? <laughs> no no it doesn't I haven't read Holly black so I don't get a point point. and then here's a book that I thought was really interesting when I first saw it yesterday's spy by Tom Brady no no Tom Bradby I mean when you see this name, does Tom Brady, is it Tom Brady that you hear when you, I mean, I don't know if you vocalize words when you read them. I do. So I hear Tom Brady <laughs> when I see that name. But no disrespect to the author. Tom Bradby is a novelist. Yesterday's Spy is a title and I have not read it. So those are 13 titles. 13 titles and I have read mm, one, two. Three. So of the 13 titles, I've read three. Vlogmas Day 1 book list has not started off with me scoring a lot of points, but it's fine. Maybe we'll do better tomorrow. Maybe I'll do better tomorrow. Maybe you ace this. And if so, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know how many of these books you've read. And if you want to challenge yourself to read new authors, new to you authors next year, would love to hear about that as well. Maybe that's something we could do together. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll be back tomorrow for day two of Vlogmas because it's the most wonderful time of the year or the day. Oh, there's my jingle. It's the most wonderful time of the day. There'll be book lists we're showing and copies we're holding and games that we'll play. It's the most wonderful time of my day. It's the most wonderful time of my day. <laughs> come, you want to come say hi? Come say hi to the friends. Ah, hello! Hi. Hi, friends. Mwah.